guys, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Binding Blade Chapter 5 Part 1. This is me, after making a really dumb mistake and not saving the last chapter, so I have to record right now, because I can't close the game. Well anyways, Lord Eric, Marcus of Laos, has been working with Burn Against His Allies, of Lycia. It's not my fault I didn't save the game, the key bindings are different than the one on the Wii emulator. What's up is down, what's down is up. In a sense. This gave Roy further shock, you know what? Yeah. It's no longer a safe place, heading for Ostia, Roy decided to move through the mountains where people seldom want to avoid unnecessary trouble. Boss. Our guys that went down to the village just got back. Alright, let's get down to our usual visit down to the village and gather up all the loot. Yeah, boss, something's different today. There's an army station real close to us. They look like Lysia's troops. Lysia, then that ain't a problem. They gotta be a remainders of the army that got their ass kicked by Burn. Then we can beat them. Oh yeah, boss. Well, we still gotta take our precautions. But maybe we can rake up some loot from them too. All right, boys, let's take them on. A village is here to s You guys aren't reading this. There's uh, uh, you know, just read. <laughs> All right. So basically, what he said is, blah blah blah. Help us out. Drive the bandits away. If Roy stands on this spot. This castle gate will open up. The problem with that is it becomes what's known as a clusterfuck, where every enemy is trying to fit between this two by two space, and everything is clogged. So it's actually faster to go up. Now, in the last part, did we do this port? We did. All oh, right. What happened in the last part? If you guys missed it, Alan's a Lance got his support with Alan and Roy, as well as Danny got her support with Ward. I think that's amazing. As well as, we got two new units, Rutger and Clarine, both amazing. And if you didn't see the last part, or the last whole part, you should totally go and watch it. We had some... Some more bore shattering experiences where we're like, Bored, no, why are you so bad? But he was bad. Alright, this is the official. Did I? No. This is the official last chapter where we don't have access to. Ah, uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called. Uh, we don't have access to. Hold up. Pre chapter preparations. Preparations is what it's called, yes. And after this chapter, we are no longer allowed to bring along everyone, so bye Marcus and... Mm. Ooh, I... Mm, excuse me. Bye to boars. If possible. Oh, next chapter is chapter 6, the indoor chapter. Ah, I don't know what's going on with me. Hiccups. I could, as a troll, send Marcus here. Ooh. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play this level like no one else has. Good dodge, Ward. In the last support, Thanny told Ward to stop getting hit by everything. But ha, 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 joke's on you, Thanny. You know... My axe users have both proven to be quite good in this run, and I mean, who do you get that uses axes later on, or in total? Echidna and Bartray, but they're both quite bad. I'll explain that in a sec, people might get mad at me for saying that. Thank you, Dorothy, please tell Saul something. Yes, Bishop Yodel, but where did Father Saul go? How am I supposed to guard him if he keeps disappearing? Our Father Saul, thank you for your offering, but maybe not today. Come now, please don't be so bold. We can sit comfortably tonight, and you can listen to my preaching. There you are, Father Saul. Oops, Dorothy. Well then, good day. Please wait. Tss, tss. 
Now look at what you've done, Dorothy. She fled because you advanced upon us with such a scary look on your face. This is the face I was born with, Father Saul. You were hitting on another girl. You make it sound so evil. I was simply offering a helping hand. To those poor souls in need, I love Saul. His personality is amazing. Why does that have to be tonight? Well, putting that aside, did you not have something to tell me? Oh, right. The Lycia Alliance is supposed to be somewhere around here. What? Princess Guinevere is still with them, is she not? Yes, if she reports from the El Amin Supreme Church are accurate. Let's hurry, we must go and join that army. What is the matter, Dorothy? You want to join because Princess Guinevere is so beautiful, right? Don't be ridiculous. Come now, we must hurry. Yes, sir. They must have walked right on past there. And these dudes aren't even... They, they could have, like, seen the fighting, just kept on running. Alright. I was talking about the axe user. Oh, you still have an angelic robe. Where's Lance? Um, yeah, okay, so. Uh, Kidna and Ar Ar Bartray are both pretty bad units. Plus, you can't even get both of them. Bartray can use bows. Bartray comes with a whopping 22 attack, which is amazing. What's not so amazing is his extremely horrible hit percentage. He has bows, which are nice. Echidna has really great hit percentage. Okay, um, Bartray, really? That's not very good. Bartray is the class that Lot and Wade would promote into. By the way, Echidna is a hero, the class that um, Deke promotes into. But her strength is just so low. Like, I don't even know if it's worth it. Other than that, I can think of two other... Uh, two other axe users that come our way. Actually, yeah, that's amazing. Um, one is Gonzalez. He's not actually that bad. I've just never had a positive experience with him. And so, maybe we could use him in another run? Unless we use him in this run after putting Lot and Wade aside, sadly. Actually, I'd like to send Boris downwards. Uh, after that, it... See, the thing about Gonzalez is he has kind of like bad hit rates. But like high attack and maybe high defense. I don't remember that part. However, uh, yeah. However, after that, I'm trying to remember the guy's name. Uh, Geese is more well-rounded and average stat than Gonzalez, but at that point in the game, he's not really all that good anymore. Plus, he's a pirate class. And I'm trying to think. Oh, Garrett comes later on in the game. He's like one of those pre-promotes that are only good if you need them. But if you have trained up units, your trained up units are honestly so much better. Yes. Oh, Danny is low on HP. And as you know... Danny is a god, so that's all right. We just got a healer back up. Maybe we should have saved the whole oh, 30 though. That's that's really good. <gasps> Alan's doubling, guys. Alan's doubling. Our hard work and effort paid off. I know the game creators wanted us to use all of our units equally. But a little extra treatment to Alan and Lance was a long way. And now we actually have semi-decent other units, like, like Rutger. The enemy has 18% chance to hit him. 18 hit. I mean, his last level up, ah, I'm all tangled up with my chair. All right, Ward? Wait, what do you got? Oh. Risky. Miss. No! Why would that hit? Ward. Bad. Uh. I mean, I'm. I wouldn't re 
set for ward right now. Ward supports with Danny, but she's too far. Do you have... No, actually. He moves back and he moves in. Ward screwed. Wad and Ward. You guys don't support with each other yet, do you? No. Part of the reason I am not resetting for Ward is... Strictly because I'd have to play through the entirety of the last chapter again. Oh, I sent Boris up, didn't I? <clears throat> oh, right. Okay, that's good. My strategy down there was Marcus would open the door, everyone would crowd him, and he'd run away, dragging all those enemies with him. Good dodge. Good crit. See, this is why Rutger is amazing. Although, he needs better level ups. Ah, okay, good. Good job. Is amazing. Whoa, uh, uh, Marcus might have a little bit of action in this level. Probably more action than he's gotten all the other levels put together. By that I mean he can kill two brigands. Put him up to what he's good at. Alright, now, I've said Boris can stay up and hit a 73%. Yes. Good job, Boris. God. I wish we could use Boris if he was better. <gasps> oh, yeah, but no one really needs 2 HP to get a kill. What does Thanny need? Hey, see, Thanny is already. Thanny's getting so much better. Like, she's doing 16 damage to this guy already. Alright. My, my, how the turntables. Yes. 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 No. I was such a letdown. Ward? Wade? Ward? I don't know. Ah, uh, no. Let's clear you out as fast as possible. One. And see, we don't have all those that good, all the good combat units yet. We have one, two, three, and four. I'd like to give Danny experience. Lot and Wade, Lot and Wade should get a bit of love and care as well. But yeah. Oh, this doesn't kill. This does 16, unless Rector crits, which was too much to ask for. But that's a. <gasps> level up. Yes, strength. Rutger needs strength. And speed. I wonder, It's weird that he hasn't gotten speed yet. Okay, let's give uh, Lou a little kill. I mean, we bought him a whole fire tome for this purpose. Lou could have been a great... Lou could have really used the, uh, the um, Angelic Robe if we were going to use him. I, I know there's bandits somewhere here, but I don't see them. Someone that wants this village dead. What is the... Uh, Alright, Marcus, you can wait there. <clears throat> Marcus, is, there's no way he's going to get a level up off this. No, he has 19 experience. No, no, no. Marcus is not going to level up. I wish I could level him up for you guys just to show you how bad he is. Alright, Chad, you go up. Ellen, you, no, you don't have any staff you can do. Merlinas, okay. Uh, I think after this turn I'm going to end the chapter. If I want to do it in two parts. Oh, you don't, you don't double them, do you? Huh. Hold on, you. Why don't you take this spear with you? I think at some point a really powerful armor knight used it. Just a rumor, but... Oh, the owl... Nope, not the owl lance. But this lance. The gaunt lance, right. Let's equip that. Do you reach? You don't reach. Alright. 
So to end off this chapter, what do you reach though? No. You reach up here. To end off this chapter, we can do a mini support train. Because support trains are amazing. I, I don't think we really need Lou in a support train, but Roy, uh, Boris can go there. You don't support with them. You don't support with them. You don't support with them. And perfect. All right, let's get the last enemy phase of this part done. Good dodge, Marcus. I applaud you. You're still not a good unit. That's it. Well, let's let's check any supports. I don't think there'd be one there, but you know. All right, guys. Well, that's this part. So, thank you for watching. I know it's only 60 minutes. I could totally do this part in one part. But I'm like exhausted because I've already recorded two whole parts. So, if you're still here, leave a like, subscribe. I'll get the next part out to you shortly. So, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.